sun's decided to come out. Although it's clouding up on the hills already over there. Clouds coming. And we're doing a bit of gardening work here. I'd just like to show you Kristen's project. Uh, would you care to explain your project? Yeah. It's uh, eventually going to be netting for the, the strawberries. Yeah. It's what? It's going to be a frame, <laughs> a netting frame. <laughs> A netting frame. A frame that I'm going to put netting over to protect the strawberries, but I, some, there's some major flaws. <laughs> yes, I can see you don't use a tape measure for your building projects. I think if I bend them enough, it'll go. Yeah, if you bend that... And I was thinking maybe I'd just use some number eight wire. What's that? I thought maybe I'd just use some number eight wire. Where's the netting? I don't have it, any. But I'm just going to... It over. What's going to keep the birds out? Are they just going to fly under the edge? No, no, the netting. The, the netting is going to go. It's not just going to be a roof, it's going to go down the side. Well, it's the opening day for whitebait seasoning here on the west coast, and there's no one here. Well, Gav and a few others are over the other side, but there's no one on this side of the river. Usually, you come down. On opening day, and this side of the river is just loaded with people, but there's no one bloody here. I don't know what's going on. There's probably no white bait in here because there's no one down there. All the white bait are just pouring up, and no one wants to come white baiting. The sea's a bit rough. The river mouth's not looking too good. <coughs> I was going to come down without my net, but the last moment I decided to biff my net on, and just as well because there's no one down here. Hopefully, I'll get a feed. I'm going to stop yabbering on now and get the net in the water because the tide's well and truly pushing up. They play dead, dad. I think they are dead, most of them. No, dad, 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 most of them play dead. He's dead as, bro, take him out. See, he's not playing dead, he is dead. What do you reckon, Sonny? Should we cook him? Uh. Yep, all right, we'll go cook him. Uh. Do you like it? Is it good? It is, yum, eh? You want some white bait, Mum? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not a big white bait. Mm. Can you eat all of that without choking? Well, I never. <laughs> she doesn't even like white. You liked it last year. What? What changed? Well, I just, I'd never have liked it in the patties. Oh, she's never liked it in the patties. She likes it swimming in the river. <laughs> You wouldn't read about it. Someone who doesn't like it. Well, don't waste any more on her, Sonny. He's feeding me Play-Doh now. Oh yeah, feed her Play-Doh. She probably likes that better than white bait. <laughs> I don't think I could do that. <laughs> we interrupt this dinner to bring you some exciting news. Ealing. I was going to say Ellie Mae, but <laughs> Ealing and Ellie Mae. Same thing, Ellie Eel. <laughs> Let's go Ealing with Ellie. Uh, eel is possibly dead. She found a massive eel yesterday. Apparently this thing is massive. I don't know how massive, but word in the street is that it's massive. So we're gonna go look at this massive eel. If it's alive, we're not gonna catch it. We're just gonna leave it there. But if it's dead, we're gonna weigh it and see how heavy it is. Hopefully it's still alive, because if it is, we're gonna feed her up so it gets real big. It's in a creek not far from here. Right, coming boys. Uh, all right, I'll just grab my keys. This is Josh. Oh, I'm Josh and he's Josh too. Yep, sorry fellas. He asked Ellie May to marry him and unfortunately for the rest of us she said yes. <laughs> we lost a good woman last week. Plenty more fishing to see. Ready to roll? Yep. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, he's on his back. No, he's alive. Is he? Yep, I'd say he's alive. Oh, he is too. Granddad definitely is 91. <laughs> He's fairly decent size, he uh, doesn't look that big on camera. Let's see if we can lift him up. Do you want to lift him up, Jack? He's um, he's decent, look at that. He's massive. He's half decent, isn't he? She. There we go. Not the biggest deal I've seen, but he's pretty good. Look at that, if we feed him up, we'll be able to get him real big. He's in the muddy hole, mate. Come back across Just us. wiggle your finger in, and when he grabs onto your finger with his teeth, pull him out. No? Oh. 
So he's pretty big, he's pretty grunty, he's heavy, he's nice nice and thick. I should probably stop calling her a he because it's probably a she. The, the males don't get that big. Must be a West Coast thing. <laughs> oh, can't, can't use that. <laughs> yeah, I get bloody hanged at the pub, hunged. All right, we're going to have a competition. I'm not too sure what we're going to give away. Um, a date night with Josh. <laughs> you went for a treat then. <laughs> I don't know, we'll have a competition. And guess the weight of this eel. You've got to guess the closest weight. We're going to have to find a net and the scales to weigh it with. But we'll come back and we'll weigh it. And you guys can guess the weight of the eel. Hi. Ellie Mays in the high lux and we're in the loser cruiser. Hey Sonny. We're gonna go weigh this eel and we're gonna run a competition. Guess the weight of the eel. Oh you don't like the sound of that. Tanner. Follow Ellie May. Uh, the Ellie May's gone. The Hilux has, Hilux has dragged us off. Did you get to I was a tourist and see that I was stopped. Yeah. Good story. Good story. Tell it again. <laughs> Ellie May's brought the scales down. I was meant to grab plywood to put on the ground so we could. We don't actually have fish weighing scales, we've got people weighing scales, but we were going to get Ellie May to hold the eel and jump on the scales and then take her weight off the total weight to get the weight of the eel. But I was meant to bring a bit of plywood, which I didn't, so now we don't have anything to put the scales on. I think it'll work just for a minute. Do you, Josh? Yeah, that'll be right. Good as gold. <laughs> Come on, you fellas. Charlie, you look so different. What happened at school That's there, Tana. mate? That's Tana. Oh. That's not Charlie, it's Tana. All right. <laughs> Should have gone to Specsavers, Dad. Is it there or is it gone? It's not right there. Oh, there's a lot of water come down here last night, so it's probably gone upstream or downstream to a better pool. Oh, Bugger. Yeah, of course, the rain. Well, there goes our bloody guess the way to the eel competition. <laughs> I hammered down last night and the little pool's gone and the eel's also gone. Okay, He's gone upstream or downstream. <laughs> For what? <laughs> Still no sign of the eel. It's not looking good, folks, for this way the eel competition. Not looking good at all. That's where I'd be if I was an eel, but we can't see anything in there, so I guess the eel's pretty Big safe for the time being. See him, Jack? Seeing as we have no eel, Ali May's come up with brilliant suggestion. Guess the weight of the sausage dog. Sit, Ackley, sit. And be in to win this awesome prize. Sword peasant knife that you can open with one hand. Pretty awesome. So one sword peasant knife and also a deer carry strap. Look at that. That also doubles as a belt and it's got this cool little brass clasp on there. And if you are a patron, you go in the drawer to win this double XL swan dry. As used on Kings of the Wild and Dual Survival. There it is. Look, I even burnt a hole in it in Mexico sleeping next to the fire because it was so cold. Well, we might find the eel again. We'll just have to come back at night and walk the creek with a torch. Blimmin' heck. Like Maybe we'll set a hinaki for him. Well, we'll do that actually. We'll set a hinaki overnight. We we'll set a hinaki overnight, then we're bound to catch him to make a hinaki. If you'd like to guess the weight of the dog, jump onto the Kiwi Bushman Facebook site, look for this video, and just put in the comments how heavy you think the dog is. Also, if you want access to over 50 other videos only available to patrons, you'll need to jump on the Patreon website, link below this video. And for as little as seven New Zealand dollars per month, you too can be part of the Patreon crew and get access to a whole bunch of other content only available to patrons. Cheers and have an awesome week.